you how did you come to that style of output? My imagery with social media? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It just kind of happened. <laughs> the pink thing. Um, I don't know. It's kind of supposed to symbolize like millennial pink. And like me, I'm kind of a millennial. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are pretty cool. <laughs> We're part of Shut a new up. generation. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we're part of a new generation and I'm trying to kind of create this new sound. Um, so the millennial pink thing kind of reflects that. Um, so that hence the pink everything. Um, I've not heard of millennial pink. <laughs> have you, Kev? No, I haven't. <laughs> I, I, I suspect we're out of the demographic. I, incidentally, um, there was a, there was a, th this is a new box on the table here today. And um, if we were quiet a minute ago there, it's because I didn't press the right button on the new box. And it's not my fault. It's the new box. That's, that's what I'm going to say. Is that okay? A good workman always blames his tools. Yes, and, <laughs> and this, this, this is my tool tonight. Mm. Sorry, carry on. It's a very complicated looking box. It, it is a, it's a big box. Yeah. Look at it. It's this ball, uh, it's all the sorts of bells and whistles. <laughs> Some frightening looking wires there. <laughs> I said to him on the training and he said it's the same. <laughs> Don't tell everybody. Carry on. <laughs> you did a Valentine's version of Eagle Eye Cherry's uh, Save Tonight. Yes. Um, it's one of Kevin's favourite songs. Really? It is, yes. I, I think I retweeted, or what, what do I do when I, when I do something on, on, on the Twitter, on, on the Twitter to make it go well, on again? What you do is you mash the keyboard. <laughs> A bit like that. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> For people who were listening, he does this. Um, why that song and how did you arrange it? Um, Eagle Eye Cherry, mm, I love them. They're actually, um, the, that song is the opening for the OC. Um, I don't know if you remember the OC. It's a, a sort of teenage I remember drama. the OC. Yeah. Oh, that was a, an emotional roller coaster. The OC. Wasn't it? It was. My goodness me! Tragic. It was uh, seconded only to Party of Five. Party of Five. Yeah. Oh, it's before your time. <laughs> before your time. Um, but the OC of my family are from Orange County, which is OC. Um, so that song, I used to watch that program all the time when I was a kid. Um, and that song, I just fell in love with it. It's just beautiful, hauntingly beautiful. Um, so I just decided to do. A, an acoustic cover of it and I actually first discovered it when I was a teenager and I was in a kind of really sort of ska punk band uh, there's no versions of that online luckily <laughs> but we used to play it when we were kids in my garage so um, yeah that's kind of how I came across that song and I still love that song it's so beautiful <laughs> Well, thank you for sharing it online with me because was, oh, I, had a, I had a moment with me. It took me back to 2007, seven, eight. My wife like. has just texted me to say, I'll explain about the OC later. I have no idea. Oh, dear. You, you are going to get told off for, for not knowing about the OC live on air. You're going to get made to watch the whole thing, yeah. and it's very emotional. And it's very long, actually. It's very long. It's a very long box set. I introduced my wife to Radio 4, so I'm sure she'll get her own back for this. Um one last question. I noticed you've been doing a lot of crowdfunding. Yes. How did you get into that? How are you finding that? And is that a, a sort of a future income stream for a lot of musicians? Do you yeah, think? I really think that it could be, especially for unsigned musicians like me. Um, it just allows people to keep just drop that in there. The unsigned looking, <laughs> looking for signing, looking for signing. <laughs> unsigned. Um, <laughs> it allows independent musicians to kind of keep their creative independence. Um, the point of the, well, um, as I'm sure you both know, then music funding and recording is very expensive so if you don't have a record label then it's quite hard to get access to the top quality unless you do it in your garage um, or, or actually, you come on the folk show with kevin on oh, radio yeah. and actually i do have to say a huge thank you to uh, a really good friend of mine who's also my double bassist but so many things other than my double bassist his name is andy guy and he recorded the whole of my first ep um the one that's just come out glow in his garage and it is phenomenal sounding. He's done an amazing job, but he is a professional sound engineer. So. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Loving your work. Uh, yeah. Um, other than that, I would really recommend Rocket Fuel to any young musicians. That's how I've funded... Is that the coffee? Rocket Fuel. Rocket Fuel is what my granddad used to call cherry brandy. <laughs> okay. Is neither, co no, neither cherry brandy or coffee we take it? No? I'm not recommending alcohol. <laughs> no, of course not. But uh, Rocket Why? Fuel is an extremely strong type of coffee. Oh, there you go. Best gone with wagon wheels. Gives you the shakes. Best gone with wagon wheels. I'm going to show yeah. everyone that I'm live streaming yeah. too. Yeah. Wagon wheels. Yeah, there you go. Remember these guys? <laughs> um, but yeah, so Rocket Fuel is... Like oh, incidentally, sorry. Can I just interject there? Um, Molly Ann did actually say, what are wagon wheels when she first arrived? <laughs> it's like, who doesn't know what wagon wheels are? Well, you weren't sure if they were a biscuit or a cake. They are a definitely a cake, not a biscuit. Can we start a poll online for people uh, listening? Uh, if a biscuit or a cake? Is, is that on, on the Snappy Chat? Do we do that on the Snappy I Chat? I can't interview and set up a poll. 
you can have one or the other. <laughs> hashtag biscuit, hashtag cake. <laughs> um, no, so Rocket Fuel um, is a platform, really, really good platform. Um, you can set your target. So I set mine to a certain amount of money and then you kind of sort of put your self out there and you're like this is what I'm hoping to achieve friends and family fans maybe if you're a little bit more established get involved and they donate or they they buy merchandise so I put out like a pre-order for the EP that I'm releasing in May um and that was originally put as 10 pounds so I've now actually cut it in half and sent everybody a copy of my first EP and they're all getting a copy of my second EP for free just to say thank you because I uh, uh, like have done like I'm, I'm so amazed by what I've achieved through that platform. Um, yeah, so that comes out in May. Really excited about that. <laughs> Excellent. That is wonderful news. Now I can't remember because this is where my notes have run out. Okay, is go this on. the second song by Molly Ann? Or definitely, gonna... definitely the definitely. second song. We'll do the second song. I think so. Okay, I'm going to get my capo right this time. That's right. This one is called Corona Del Mar. This is the. Oh, we love this song. We, we, love, we, this song? we love this song. Oh, we played wow. this last we week. Didn't this song, we? Didn't we, we played this last week. Great. Me and him played oh. this last week. I may <laughs> have played it today at work as well. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so happy that you like it. So, uh, this is the third track off my EP. Um, yeah, this is Corona Del Mar. When we were younger and we thought we knew That life was simple, smiling back at you An easy answer when you touch the sky I'm not the one who keeps your heart alive Then time moved faster and he shook my soul Winter winds are winds alone. 